youths of Nigeria should please ignore anybody inciting them into violence. There have been calls. People have been calling on youths to come out, to come and replicate what they did in Kenya, in Nigeria. They should copy and paste what happened in Kenya, in Nigeria. Nigeria already have, we already have our own fair share of violent protests. We have had series of violent protests in Nigeria. There was the SAP riot of 1989. There was the students crisis of 1986, the ABU crisis of 1986, the Ali Must Go protest of 1978. So we have had our own fair share of violent protests in Nigeria. The most recent is the NSAS crisis of 2020, of 2020, where apart from innocent life that were lost, there was mega destruction to public infrastructure, especially in Lagos. There was unprecedented destruction and looting of private businesses. What trillions of naira? Job losses were in several thousands. Loss of revenue due to productive hours lost, calculated to be in several billions of naira. And what do we have left? Insecurity took over post NSAS crisis. All those places where police stations were burnt down, go and ask them if they want any, any protest. Go and, go and hear them. Let them share their experience with you. All those areas where they burned down police stations, criminal gangs took over. Armed robbers terrorizing them. Young ladies cannot come out once it is 7 p.m. Several women raped. People were calling for the return of the police. So it is usually from violent protest to violent crime. That's what follows. After the violent protest, what follows is violent crime. All the arms looted from police armories are in the hands of criminals, now terrorizing members of the public. Is that what we want again? Thank you.